Hello everybody, Big Points here. Now before I dive too deep into this video on the Emirates A380, I would like to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you to everybody on Patreon who helps to support the channel. You guys are one of the main reasons why I'm actually able to build these planes, and it really means a lot to me. I put up exclusive content over on Patreon, so if you want to go support the channel over there to get some behind the scenes access, I will leave a link in the description below. So yeah, today is a video on the A380. It's been a couple weeks since I last updated you, and I'm still waiting for some parts to come in, so if you see some like miscolored parts down here, that's why, but I have made some fairly worthwhile progress on this thing, so I'm going to show it to you in this video. Most of the progress, if not all of the progress, has actually been made up here to the nose region in the cockpit region, so I better show you that. So obviously, I'm going to start down here because that's where the immediate progress was made at first. I was finally able to finish and blend this in, and it's really poor lighting, so sorry about that. Here's maybe this better. Yeah, there you go. So I was able to blend this in, get the nose in. I was also able to, I'm just going to show you this right now, get the uh, uh, cargo door in. So this works pretty, pretty simply. You just pull this out and opens like that. You can see that there is a cargo bay in there and you can fit some pallets. So that will be added to the final model when I'm done. I will add some pallets and some cargo to put in there. But I got the cargo door in, so that's the first update. Second thing is I got the nose gear in and all the nose gear doors and such. So you can see that I was, obviously I blended this in, but the nose gear is in and I'm gonna try to show you this the best I can. Ooh, you can see that there is a strut right here. I did add a strut to this model. The nose gear is stronger. And we got doors, and these doors right here can open and close. So obviously on the final video, I will show you how that works. But for right now, yeah, I pretty much made that progress, and it's working pretty well. I still have a support down here. You can see the table is taking quite a bit of load. That's still supporting the majority of the weight, because until I get a tail on this model, this thing is going to be awkwardly balanced. So for right now, I just have support there that is holding up the majority of the weight. So let's talk about up here. Let's talk about the cockpit. In this one, I had to do a little bit of research to be sure I got it right, because I wanted to get this correct because that's really important to me is to have it accurate. And yeah, so let's start back here. Obviously, I'm not gonna do a full in-depth tour because that is for another video, but well, I'm gonna move the uh, uh, upper deck out of the way. But you can see here, starting here, we have a couple of jump seats. These are just sort of your standard jump seats. And yeah, not too much there. Got some greebling on the side of the wall. Is I also made sure to make sure I had these stairs properly aligned. I went in there and said, was looking at it, trying to figure out where the crew rest was, and this is the best that I came up with. It's fairly accurate. You can see that on each side there are a couple of stairs, and on each side of the stairs, to the left or to the right, you have some crew rest area. Now, I tried to make this as accurate as I could. I know in reality they're, they're, these would have been double stacked, but just for the, the Lego world, I have kept them single story or not stacked so you could see them better, even though in reality there should have been one of these on top of the other. But for my model, you can see that there is a chair in there and then there is a bed. Again, this is going to be really, really difficult to see because of the cramped conditions, but that's what it looks like right now. You can see that there is also a... Uh, door it's, it's really hard to see yeah, there we go there is a door entering to each one of these and the same is on the other side so pretty much the same here as it is here they're basically identical and this was the crew rest area for the a380 again i tried to make this as accurate as i could obviously there are some limitations it is lego but yeah so if we move forward you can see that there are two cockpit doors you can see them right here one next to the other you just push them in but um once we enter the cockpit, you can see this is probably the largest flight deck I've made to date. Maybe the 747s was close in size, but you can see here that we have um, obviously the, the pilot and the first officer over here, and then we have a couple of jump seats behind it. Now, I did a little bit, had to do a little bit more research to see well, what kind of, uh, how many people were in the flight deck, because I know on the 747 right here, you have your pilot and your first officer, and then of course you have the flight engineer back there as well. Now obviously the A380 is a much newer airplane, so you're not going to really have the flight engineer. But there were a couple of jump seats I noticed on the A380. I'm not sure exactly what they're for, but I made sure to add them. I'm sure those of you who are more uh, astute in the airline uh, aviation community can let me know uh, sort of who sat usually in the jump seats. I don't know if it was backup crew or what, but 
they're there. And you can see here that I have also, again, I'm trying to, I'm probably gonna try to save most of this for the final video, but at this point, like, whatever, I'll just show it to you now. You can see that we have our glass cockpit. I'll move our, our minifigure out of the way so you can see it better. But um, you can see that we have some controls, some keypads, you can enter information. Those are supposed to be throttles in the center there, those black things right there. And then on either side to the left or right, we have the Airbus side stick. So that's my attempt at least at a glass cockpit on the A380. It's not 100% and obviously I've left some of this area up here a little uh, open because I'm gonna need that area to attach the windshield around. Obviously the windshield is not in place yet. So that's why it still looks a little bare up there, but the cockpit is more or less done at this point. So where do we go from here? The nose is more or less for all intents and purposes done all the way on the bottom and up here. So at this point, what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start, obviously I need to add the windshield in right here. Then I'm going to start molding it up and then we're going to start coming back here. Now, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to add the interior now or later because you can see that we have all this empty space in here and you know, I started up here so I don't know if I should continue down the interior or what. I'm probably not going to because I want to keep save that for the very end because that's sort of the fun part at the end that you look forward to. But the next thing that I'm going to be doing for sure is going to be adding the windshield, obviously, and then starting to mold and finish the nose right here. I want to make this look really smooth and I want it to look really nice. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this. I'm still waiting for parts because obviously parts are slow. You can see that on the side here we have a couple of gray wedges that obviously will be replaced later on down the line with white ones. But yeah, that's where we're pretty much at right now. I know it's been a little slow. The parts have been coming in slow and I've also been working on some other things. The built a stand for the 737 without a tail. But um, yeah, that's it for this one. Hopefully I'll have another update to you in a few days. Again, the nose is gonna take some time because I want it to be sturdy, smooth, and look good. This is, after all, like the face of the airplane. So yeah, that's, that's all I really have for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll come back for more and you'll come back for more. That's it for this one, and bye for now.